What's up everybody? Thanks for coming back for another video. We're doing an upgrade to the Creality High light bar. Now the light's working really good, but there's a problem. You can see when the extruder goes up, the tube and the wire track hit the brackets, hit the arms. You can see as it goes up, UTFE tube hits first, then the wire cable track. It's not really doing much damage or any causing any problems, but it's definitely not ideal. So we went back into Tinkercad and we redesigned our light bar arms. You can see the original there on the left and the modified one with the riser on the right. We also created some custom clips to hold the light bar that we got from Amazon. This new one here is much taller. That one's already on there, it's okay. We're gonna swap it out for the big one right now. I went through three versions of the clips before I got the sizing right for this specific Amazon light bar. The first one had a good slide, a bad fit. The second one had an okay slide and a bad fit again, but that slide was too loose on the second version of the clip. First one was a little too tight. V3 had a good slide and an okay fit. The clip was a little tall onto version 4 with a perfect slide and a perfect fit after we did a few small modifications. Corrected some tolerances and now it fits perfect. Here we are in the slicer with the new light bar arms. We cut out a bunch of 1 inch circles or 25 millimeter circles just for weight and filament reduction, print time reduction. We're doing 5 walls and 0 infill. I wanted it to be strong but we don't need anything on the inside and that shouldn't affect it other than time and material use. Here's our two modified clips with dovetails. I also left the two circular holes in the tops of the arm bars in case you want to zip tie your light to the arms instead of using the dovetail clips. And it loaded up into the K2. We don't need the CFS or calibration. We're using the titanium, burnt titanium PET G on the spool holder right there. Quick easy print, six hours. Now it's done. Thank you K2. We got another time lapse. Rare but it's nice to see. These things look amazing. I probably could have slimmed them down more. They don't need to be that thick, but I think they look cool. They're going to be nice and sturdy. Should be strong. Five walls and zero infill. Our teardrop holes and our dovetail clips. Everything looks good to go. Here we go out of the printer now, ready to be installed. You can see the original next to the, the tall one now. What a difference. It looks ridiculous, but that's the height you need to avoid hitting the tube and the cable. It's a nice tight fit a perfect fit. Looks amazing and they're swappable if you decide to make your own. The dovetail can stay the same and you can make the clip whatever size you want. And here we are with the finished install. What a difference. The height creates better light coverage and it just looks cleaner. No zip ties, custom clips, everything looks good. Here we are with the light on and you can see with it up higher you get much more coverage and total clearance. Nothing hits anymore. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one.